Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Seeing smoke out by Lake Almanor. Chances are it's this, just a Cal Fire pile burning project. They started last week and they'll keep at it until this Friday, December 29th. They're working out on Sierra Pacific Industries land to reduce wildfire risk to Hamilton Branch, Westwood and Clear Creek as well. And now here's a look out in Chico today. Mostly cloudy skies, but we saw plenty of blue shining through and it was really quiet in the downtown area. Chloe, everybody's done with their shopping. Today is the day for opening the presents and getting uh, to be with family, just staying at home unless you're us. Unless you're us, but we have our little work family <laughs> we here. Are family. It's been cozy. We have plenty of food and gifts and yeah. whatnot, so it's all right. <laughs> and meteorologist Patrick Wright is tracking conditions for us. Cool to start this week, but we could see some rain on the way, right, Patrick? We do have those high clouds sticking around. This is from earlier today. The view from the Pine Creek camera as the sun was starting to set on this Christmas day. Hopefully yours was pretty good. We'll still have smooth weather over the next couple of hours. Those clouds will be around tonight. No rain associated with it. Now rain is returning to our forecast by Wednesday and that is setting us up for an active period ahead where we do have several systems in the lineup. So this is what we're watching for tonight. By 9 p.m., we will have a few clouds around, most of it in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere. If you are heading out to the coast mountains, a few showers not out of the question, most of it on the western slopes. Tomorrow, to start your day by 8 a.m., we're not looking too bad. Again, those high clouds sticking around, I think very similar to what we're seeing today. A few sun breaks here or there. By 4 p.m., some of those clouds thicken up again. But again, it's all in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere. And we do see a partial clearing coming up later tomorrow night. A few high clouds around. Those are the thinner, wispier clouds for 9 p.m. tomorrow night. But that sets the stage for the next system to arrive on Wednesday. Temperatures this evening dipping down to the upper 30s to lower 40s across the valley. Those clouds tonight will help insulate us. Highs tomorrow for the most part in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Very similar to what we are seeing today and in the mountains sitting right around the low to mid 50s. So it isn't looking too bad out there. We are slightly above average for this time of year, at least in the valley. So for your running forecast, we need to burn off a few extra calories from the holiday. It is looking really good, so no excuses at this point. But travel wise, we will have those clouds around some breezes, especially coming by Wednesday as this next system rolls in. So possible delays in some places, but it's not going to be a complete destruction of any travel in our area. Overall, there is that chance for rain that tapers off by Thursday morning and we're left with a few more clouds coming in again. But by Friday, things start to pick up again as the next system rolls in. Now the next seven days, as I mentioned, we do have a series of systems sitting off the coast or at least lined up off the coast. The first one coming in on Wednesday, that'll be a quick moving, but we may see a chance for some heavy rain at times. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s, a brief break on Thursday, a few clouds around mid to upper 50s again for highs. But our next system rolls in Friday into Saturday. There is still some uncertainty in the exact timing of that system, but that is looking to move out just in time for the New Year's holiday coming up next Sunday into Monday. For now, we are looking dry, but there is still some uncertainty in exactly where other systems move in, but we'll keep an eye on that as we get closer.